welcome to the episode of the health talks i am your host today ronnie paul and today we're going to talk about the mostly important topic and misunderstood topic which is heart attack so to clear up all the confusion today we have our host dr shri hari das senior cardiologist consultant at manipal hospital thanks ronnie for having me on your show i think you have picked up a very very important topic which is very very relevant and i think the reason for its relevance is post covid mm-hmm. we have seen a sudden increase in the incidence of heart attacks and i think through this talk if the public is aware of the do's and don'ts it will make a big difference we at manipal hospital jayanagar have a team of cardiologists who believes in prevention of heart attacks and we are very very passionate about what are the steps we can do to prevent heart attacks in the general public but unfortunately if you do come with a heart attack we have the right team to take care of you and help you recover as soon as possible now why is this such an important topic unfortunately india is the global capital of heart attacks unlike other countries we see more people in the 30s and 40s come with a heart attack mm-hmm. and this affects the productivity because young people are losing their quality of life mm-hmm. so i think this discussion is very very important and uh, very relevant to the current scenario right so this is the main reason that we have taken this topic to discuss about so let's start with the basic right now so exactly sir what happened during the heart attack we most of the time we heard, heard about like this heart attack heart attack happens so emergency have to we have to call the ambulance everything so exactly what happens during a heart attack in a layman's term yeah heart attack is when a particular artery gets totally blocked mm mm-hmm. so the part distal to the artery which is blocked doesn't get blood supply so mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. muscle is screaming for oxygen and now there are three arteries in the heart so 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 i have one question what you have told right now from that i have one question as a layman person so i would like to ask like how an artery can exactly get blocked so what happens is from the time we are young plaques plaques are nothing but deposits of fat cholesterol calcium and other cellular products develop in our arteries inside our arteries mm-hmm, mm-hmm. now these plaques can develop as young as childhood okay studies have shown that they can be seen as a, as early as children mm-hmm. in the young age so over a period of time mm-hmm. based on our lifestyle our habits the plaques keeps increasing in size and causes narrowing of the arteries oh, sometimes nice. the plaque can rupture mm-hmm. and this can cause a blood clot which will suddenly shut off the artery okay. that is when a heart attack happens understood sir so one more thing like i would like to add that you have uh, added the childhood most of the time people hears like only you uh, know aged person get heart attack because most of the frequently they are getting so is there a kind of myths or fact anything regarding that that's an absolute myth i think the concept was only older people or an older men get heart attacks right right i think sir. it's yeah our personal experience over the past 20 years and our experience in the hospital has mm-hmm. been that no age group is exempt mm-hmm. no age group is exempt our youngest person in manipal hospital was 22 years old oh okay. and this happened during peak covid uh-huh. he was rushed into the hospital from an outside with uh, he had collapsed at mm-hmm. home and he was rushed into the hospital where an ecg and echo diagnosed a heart attack and mm-hmm. we did an emergency angioplasty on him right. so 22 is very young that's not an age group you associate with heart attacks right. our oldest who underwent an angioplasty mm-hmm. was 90 years old there was another gentleman right. 94 year old who refused a procedure but did very well on the treatment so the age group can be from as young as 22 to late 90s with the population growing older more men are getting heart attacks mm-hmm. but the younger are getting heart attacks probably because of poor lifestyle the effects of covid or mm-hmm. the covid vaccine we are seeing more people come in the younger age group in the last 3 years i think manipal hospital jayanagar has seen a sudden redistribution in the heart attack pattern mm-hmm. 50% of our heart attack patients are now below 40 which is a major concern and another myth which you have rightly asked is we always think women don't get heart attacks mm-hmm. women do get right, heart right, attacks right. and the the worry some part in women is they don't have the typical chest pain heaviness which mm-hmm. others will experience they can come saying that i'm not feeling good doctor mm-hmm. i'm feeling tired i'm feeling drained out last couple of days i'm not feeling good i'm mm-hmm. just having indigestion symptoms so women more often than men come late and present with atypical symptoms 